In this video, guys, we're going to go ahead and show you a mini scheme of a newly added formation in Madden 22 that's going to have bomb plays as well, some really nice motion to get a nice base to your offense. All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Gun wide trips deep. Pro sex, go. On one, on one. Ready? Go. Ready. So before we go into actual play design, guys, I want to show you the two formations that I'm talking about for a quick mini scheme that is definitely worth building around. And that's the single back deuce Y flex and the single back deuce close out of the Chiefs playbook. Okay, the single back deuce Y flex is only exclusive there. So that's why you want to be in the Chiefs playbook. And it has a lot of unique plays and motions that we can kind of draw up to have some fun with this formation. And then being able to audible to deuce close and have a very quick shift is giving you twice the amount of the plays that can make you really, really tough, especially if you um, like to be a runner. You've got the ability to have zero one trap and you've got the ability to have half back stretch and halfback zone weak all at your fingertips with deuce close. Let's start off with the Y flex as it is a play in which, um, a formation of which is new to this year. And I wanna make sure that we talk about it, okay? So Z post Y out is the first play I'm gonna show you. But before we get into the play, I wanna talk about the motions, okay? There are several different motions that are gonna give you some really nice opportunities. The first one is taking this um, tight end and motioning him to the left you're gonna see that both the outside players are going to expand and he's gonna to go to like a wing uh, tight end type spot, okay? Why that's important is because now you can go ahead and use different routes to your advantage. This B can be on a hitch and now he can get motion to the outside. He can be on, um, you know, basically um, different routes to where what you had in the past, where if it's a slot apprentice, you can put him on a corner. And then when you motion him over, the corner goes outside, right? want to make sure that you understand the capabilities of this. If you're in man coverage and you're doing a stop and go, right? And now you move this over. Now your stop and goes outside where you can now start throwing it away from that single high safety, right? So there are a lot of things that you can use for your advantage by having a slot apprentice there and doing that, okay? The next thing that we're going to do is show you that we can motion this receiver to the right and it ends up being a bunch look to the right, okay? So in an instance like this, you've got a bunch player um, where you're, if you're playing against somebody that's got any type of man coverage, they're all kind of congested. You get a lot of times where people bump into each other and you get wide open throws, right? So that's another one. Now, what I like about motioning over this right receiver is that now you've got the ability to um, kind of have a stack look on the left side to where they're kind of um, close together. And again, those are things that you're going to be able to play off each other when it comes to running corner routes or out routes or anything like that to where those guys can uh, end up being something to where it drives back the players, but also they kind of rub into each other. And the last thing, we can make a single back spread look by taking this tight end and moving them to the left. So all these things, and you can see that he actually gets really close to the X as well. All these things you can do use to your advantage. I didn't want to get into, you know, on this one video how to use it to your advantage um, from play design, but I definitely wanted to at least get your mind thinking and why this is a fun formation for you. And lastly, when you go ahead and you motion to do close, look how quick the motion is, right? And now you've got deuce close. So I wanna make sure you see all that as far as why this formation is fun to use and what you can use it to its capability. Let's get into the first play. The first play is gonna be a bomb play. We're gonna block a running back, put the A on a streak, and then we're going to smart route the Y. And it's going to look like this. This is a cover three bomb. Why I like this play so much is that the quarterback gets a 10 yard drop back naturally. And a lot of times that's really going to help your ability to get better pass protection. And you can see how simple that was for a cover three bomb, right? It was just something that I'll do it one more time so you can see it. But all we're going to do here is block our running back, put the A on a streak. And I smart route the Y because I feel like it does a better job, but a lot of times you don't have to. That guy's actually a free player, but it gives me an opportunity in case they're playing man coverage or whatever the case is to have another route on the field to beat man, right? So we'll try this again. We're going to let them auto drop. Once we get about the 10 yards, we're going to just go to the left a little bit. And you're going to see how this guy is going to be, you know, wide open for the one play score and obviously nice, right? Now the next one, we're actually going to go to the right hash mark just to kind of show you this. I'm going to look at the play called, I believe it's called wide receiver cross. Um, let's see, wide receiver cross. Now we're going to get the Y involved, okay? Now, what we told you before is when we move this A over, you're going to see how everybody widens out. We're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to put the B on a streak, block our running back, and put the X on a smart route out. That's going to get the Y open in the seam. 
The reason for it is the first threat that's down the field is the B, so that's gonna hold the free safety more to the right side. And then the A coming up the seam is going to be more towards the middle of this field, so he's not going to cover the left middle of the field. And if we can just get the, you know, the X to kind of hold the other player, you're gonna see how this is gonna be wide open in the middle. We catch this ball, we got ourselves a nice, you know, one play score opportunity, right? Real nice. Now, so for this next step, guys, we're gonna move it to the left hash. We're gonna use the same play wide receiver cross, but this time we're gonna attack the right hash. And this is gonna be more for the people playing next gen rather than last gen, just because of the way that um, the, the movement is on the safety. So what we're gonna do is put the B on a smart routed out, block the running back, and then just move this guy over and hike it just as he hits the hash mark. Right about here, you can see he's gonna go up the field. And what you're gonna see here is that this X is gonna be in a nice spot to be able to throw this ball right here, catch your ball and get your yardage, right? Um, depending on how far you are, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of varying results as far as how many yards you're gonna get, but we're gonna take 55 plus all the time, right? We'll try it one more time so you can see it. Wide receiver cross, B on a smart right out, block your running back, motion this guy over, hike him as he goes to that right hash mark. And you can see that he's gonna get up the field. It's a little bit of a delayed route. Unfortunately, we're getting some pressure here. Um, that didn't work the way we wanted to. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to um, go ahead and double team that player just to make sure that we get more hands on him. We double teamed him. We move this guy over. And let's see if we get you know our line to slide a little bit better. We do get him to slide. Now we're out. You can see how this X is going to get open right over here. And you can see how I kind of swerve caught that for the touchdown, right? Um, you know, kind of swerving left so I can catch it and, and just keep my momentum. So that's how you kind of bomb cover three a couple of different ways. I guess that was three different ways um, with this formation. Now, there are things that we talked about as far as motioning and all that type stuff. What I like to do, you know, especially if I'm going against somebody that is um, doing, um, you know, man coverage is to use this X route against man coverage. Um, what you'll see here is that when we move him over, you're going to have a nice opportunity. I like to put the A on a street, uh, a slant, something like this, to where the X route is doing a speed, you know, route to the outside. And it's just something that you, you're going to get a lot of yardage off of, right? He's got that double move, especially if you got some good speed ratings. Um, you know, this time I'm going to take, I'm going to uh, make sure that I press him. And you can see here that this is something that I like to use when it comes to man coverage, right? So these guys are manned up. Um, you can see that this X he basically, he gets bumped, if you can see here, by the player in between, in front of him. And this is why this is getting really open, is that when you look at this, and this is what happened a lot last year in some of the, the bunches that I like to empty a bunch wide, watch how he bumps 88 first. See how he bumps 88 first? And that just keeps him where the leverage is just so far inside that we're just going to get that pretty easily. So that's why I like this against, you know, cover three um, for the bombs, but man coverage for that play. And then... Even if you're just looking at man coverage, you know, just having this one-two punch over here on the left side really works because what ends up happening, it's like a bench concept. That player or that player, there's two players that you're going to be able to look at depending on, you know, what uh, ratings you have, right? I always have short in elite on this Y player, which gives me the opportunity to really you know, basically beat their player pretty easily. So those are things that I like, you know, for that. If you wanted to add, you know, something to this because you're not really using the A player, what you can do is you can put the B on like a, a post route and move this guy over. Now you've got the post route as the additional route against man coverage where, um, you know, say we do one hole like this. And now what I'm doing is I'm just giving myself more options. I've got the slant. Now I've got the B coming across the middle. You can see here though, we've got that ability to kind of throw it to him. So you've got crisscrossing. Just want to say that this is a good man coverage, right? Now, if we go to deuce close, now what we're going to see is that we've got the ability to not only get some more runs in here, but we've got some nice plays like the, the post X, um, you know, this is going to be one of those bomb plays that you're going to be able to use from year to year just because of the way that it works, right? This is a cover three bomb. You just put the Y on a streak, get as far to the right as you can, and you can see how this is going to be a nice bomb for you this way. So that's a cover three bomb. These are really nice plays that are going to, to hold the trust the test time. This typically works against cover four as well, where if you just see that maybe they're in cover four, you go ahead and you just audible to the PAX post and put the Y on a streak and then just go ahead and do the same thing, right? Move this guy over. This time I'm not really looking at the ability to, you know, try to throw this ball over here. 
and you can see how we bombed cover four there. Um, obviously, I, 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 I went to the left because of the way that the, um, the uh, pass rush came in. But you're going to see here that this is just one of those things that where you can really have some good fun. You see, I went um, because of that guy was coming out that side. I'm like, I can't get out there because of the outside leverage. But you can see how we were able to go this way with it and throw it across to that corner. And you can see how that worked out. So want to make sure that you understand how you can use two formations together, really you know, put them together. There's a tons more that you can do with this formation, something maybe I can do more on our website. But just to kind of give you a little bit of a taste of um, – plays that you can kind of build off of. You got running plays, you've got cover three bombs, you got uh, cover four bomb, you've got a uh, ability to beat man coverage pretty easily. Once you start finding that as a base offense, everything else you can build on it is, is, is schematic, right? And that's what we really teach you on our websites. Um, check it out, 995 gives you every game plan on our site. Um, gives you the ability to basically for a month subscription, test everything out uh, when it comes to our game plans. And I know you guys won't be disappointed with those. Appreciate you. We'll catch you on tomorrow's video.